Hi there, thanks for checking this video. I'm Jackson Felden. Today I want to show how you can use Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Client Analyzer to check if there is any communication problem between the endpoints and the Microsoft data centers or the Microsoft services. There are three steps I want to present. The first one is you need to really know where the Defender for Endpoint is saving the data. Uh, I mean, what's the, the region? It could be UK, could be America, could be in EU and so on. Second step, is to find out exactly what are the URLs needed by Defender for Endpoint. And then finally, I will show how you can download, install, and then run the client analyzer to get a good report and find out some possible communication issue between the endpoints and Microsoft Data Center. Anyway, let me show you now all the steps. Before diving into the client analyzer, there are two important steps here you need to complete. Step number one is to find out where Defender for Endpoint on your tenant is saving the data. And then I will show where you can get to know all the URLs you need to open on your firewall. Okay, uh, let's go into the security.microsoft.com. When the portal loads, just make sure you scroll down. Next step is click on settings, okay, in here. Let me click in there. And then when the page loads, the next step is to click over the endpoints, click in there. And now in my case, just my kind of lab environment, I want to know where the data, you know, has been saved. In my case, as you can see, is all about uh, Europe. Okay, in here, yeah, the other two options are the US and the UK as well. Okay, make sure you get this first information. Okay, that's, you know, kind of very simple, uh, simple enough. Step number two now, is finally to know what are the URLs you need in order to open and to allow, you know, all the communication. I will post, yeah, please uh, check on the video description below where you can find the, the link in order to load this Excel file. Okay, as you can see in here, there are a bunch of URLs, you know, if I point out in here, uh, yeah, I'm not going to read, you know, all of them, kind of the list is big enough. But make sure you don't need to open all of them. The two you really need to know, you need to open, sorry, are the following. Click on here. And then in my case, because now I know my data is uh, stored on the Europe, I just need to select two, uh, let's say, components. The first one is the worldwide uh, URLs. And the next one is the EU, in my case. Okay, click on apply. Now the list is a little bit, you know, smaller, but yeah, there you go. That's step number two, I would say, where you need to just grab every single URL from here and make sure your firewall allows the communication, as I said before, between your, all the on-prem or Azure devices, in this case, you know, the endpoints, when connecting to the Defender for Endpoint cloud service. Okay, you know, just copy and paste the, the URLs from here. Uh, you can pay attention as well. Microsoft have some Microsoft objects you can add into your firewall. If you are if you are using, for example, Checkpoint Firewall, those kind of latest technology, and then actually you don't really need to go and copy and paste and, and allow every single URL from here. You can just get the Microsoft object and add into your firewall. And then if Microsoft eventually decide to add or remove some, some of the URLs in here, you don't need to manually go there and check. Anyway, that's step number two. Now, finally, I can dive into my virtual machine. Here is my virtual machine I'm going to use to run the demo into the endpoint client analyzer. Step number one is to make sure you can download the client analyzer from Microsoft website. Please check the description below in order to find the link. When you go there, there are actually two options here you can, you can use. The first download is the latest stable version from Microsoft. And the next one is the latest kind of, you know, preview version from Microsoft. In my case, for this quick recording, let me stick with the latest stable version. Let me just hit the button in here and download this file. Okay, that's fine. This is step number one, is enough. Now here is the zip file. Let me just quickly extract the location kind of, you know, really doesn't matter. Let me just uh, drop into my, yeah, let me stick here into my uh, temp folder. Okay, click in there. Okay, that's pretty much job done. Okay, step number two is make sure you open um, a PowerShell session uh, run as administrator. Okay, let me do that. Okay, now I need to dive into the folder. Uh, CD temp. Okay, and then if I show you, oops, 
Okay, but but typing. Okay, in here, yeah, there is a a couple of supporting files under the tools folder, and then two or three you know additional files from here. What I'm going to do now is just run the MD. Uh, in my case, in here, the MD, I could start, you know, the, the PS1 straight away or, you know, from the CMD as well. Okay, and guys, believe it or not, that's pretty much it. Now, what's happening on the background is this PowerShell script is testing all of those URLs I checked before when I show you and try to make sure, you know, the endpoint in my case is a server 2012 can reach those URL, uh, URLs with no problem. In my case, I shouldn't get any problem in regards to Firewall because I'm running this virtual machine from my own lab and I don't have really a proper enter enterprise Firewall here to do any blocking. But I want to show the result from where you can see if there is any uh, blocking in there. Let me run from here. Yeah, those red is, I believe I haven't allowed the PS exec run on my device. But you know, that's fine. The recording for what I want to do now is just to show in terms of, you know, the URLs you need to allow. Okay, uh, there is a bit of uh, important information in here. As you can see exactly the right uh, time and date when last time I run this script. Second information here is just to show this device is already enrolled and managed by, is enrolled on MDE and managed by my my configuration. Very important here, the additional information is, yeah, the status is running. The device is running as active. Okay, could be passive as well. Passive is, the, is a kind of temporary uh, temporary state when you are migrating from any third party antivirus to Defender for Endpoint. But in my case, it's active, you know, fully, fully, uh, my device is fully protected. Very important as well, you know, it's good. Everything is green when it comes to the, the AV definitions and the AV engine, I'm using this device. Okay, so far, so good. Yeah, some additional information here as well. And then finally, the important bit from this recording is in here. Okay, the good news is I haven't got any really error on my configuration. There are two warnings and two informational here. But in terms of URL, I can kind of, you know, celebrate. Basically, my Firo, if I would have one, is not really blocking any URLs. Otherwise, they will be listed, okay, in here. And then if you are not yourself, the, let's say, the professional looking after the Fire configuration, you need to get those uh, URLs and then basically engage with the Fire team in order for them to allow. In my case, it's pointing out the PS exec is pro most likely is blocked, okay, in here. There are some other information, but as I said, you know, for this video, oops, for this video, what I really wanted to show is to kind of find out if the endpoints uh, are having any difficulties in order to connect some URL. Anyway, guys, this is what I wanted to show on my Understanding Defender for Endpoint Client Analyzer video. If you enjoyed, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.